everyone is much more relaxed about the whole the whole day, the whole funeral. Because funerals tend to be very um, stiff and regimented, they've taken all that away here. And you can have exactly what you want. Whatever your plans, the Memorial Woodlands gives you a whole day to say goodbye to a loved one. No other person, no one else's timetable will affect you. So the, fact, the fact that it's not in and out as the sort of crematorium is the mass produced almost supermarket type setup uh, does make it an awful lot better, yes, a lot, a lot easier. And the, but the surroundings are beautiful. And we're sat here now, and there's buzzards around the back and things like that, and it's that's good. It's wonderful. What we say is that we can guarantee that this place is private, but the day will be private and unhurried, because the one funeral a day is absolutely fundamental to what what happens here, because it gives the family the space the time to actually to breathe and to relax and the fact that no one has to look at their watch um, just g gives a completely different feel. I walked in and the thing that impressed or that was so different to me was that I was being given control over what happened. I would have time and space, I wouldn't be fitted into a slot and have to fit into a fixed regime. I could do what I wanted, which was a little bit daunting, to be honest, because I thought, well, how do I design a funeral service? Um, but I think that was also part of the healing process. Something spiritual, um, but not the standard religious text. Well, as a funeral celebrant, um, we're not members of the clergy. However, the services that we conduct are those which are appropriate to the deceased and for the wishes of the family. So these can be totally secular or they can have religious content. Really, it, it's what the, um, what the relatives want at the end of the day. It, it's their day. So you have a, an allocated time at a crematorium in which to conduct a service. And I think many family members may feel that they have been cheated of those last hours because they've not been able to say what they want to say in the time allocated. Here at the Woodlands, you have today. Um, as many mem uh, family members that wish to speak can, and they can form part of that eulogy. So this is a day for them to remember. It's just the last day, so it should be a day that's remembered with reverence and acceptance that this is what's happened but it was a good send-off. You think you're prepared for it, but you're not prepared for it. And then if you've got to battle somebody to get what you would like to do, no, it, it wouldn't work. But here, uh, and particularly William, he, he, yes, come on, talk to you, make suggestions, by all, by all means. But at the end of the day, he went, you know, they, they went along and you could work together and cooperate and produce something. Death is something which can be like a brick wall. It hits the family, even when it's expected, like a ton of bricks, as it were. It hits them hard. If we're not careful, if we disempower families, it becomes a brick wall which they may take years to get over. Now, I'm not saying we've got all the answers, but what we try to do is create a series of stepping stones which people can pass through so there is no brick wall. They've got a series of memories of actions that they've undertaken that make sense. And that's driven really by the family, not by us, but our response to the family is to try and create stepping stones in which they, they have had an involvement moment by moment. We were able to talk and have time to think like I'm doing now, um, explore things. It wasn't um, you know, you can do this, this and this, and I want decisions on that, this and the other. And um, I thought they were very caring. That's what the, that's my, my strong impression, was the beauty of, of coming here and the, the caring attitude. Yes. Um, and I went away with a big load lifted off my shoulders that, that you know, that was a day after yeah. for me also. Yeah. And it was a big, Wait, I've got, I felt um, somebody was there to help me through this.
in a big way.